The number of coronavirus cases here in the Commonwealth are relatively low versus states with our population size and even some states that are less populated. That's because of the Virginia Department of Health recognized the severity of the illness early and wanted to get in front of it the best way it could. And this week's Our RVA, we spoke to the man in charge of VDH. It's really a war is what it is. I would say that's what it feels like every day. That's how State Health Commissioner Dr. M. Norman Oliver describes the fight the Commonwealth is facing with the COVID-19 pandemic. We're watching our number of infections go up, we're watching our, our casualties go up, and we're doing whatever we can to, to see if we can't decrease that. As the director for the Virginia Department of Health, Dr. Oliver, who has appeared alongside Governor Ralph Northam in many of his television briefings, is there to emphasize the importance of social distancing to avoid a spike spread of the coronavirus. If we do really well on the social distancing, we will decrease that number. That's what everyone hears when, that's what people are talking about when they say flatten the curve. Oliver, who has done a lot of work with health equity, is especially concerned to get that message across to minority groups. Several cities in the U.S. have recorded data showing the disease spreading at a higher rate in black communities. We have to have a, pay particular attention to the most vulnerable populations. They are at the highest risk. You could just say, well, you know, it's a virus. No one's safe from the virus. Some people are safer than others. Dr. Oliver declared coronavirus a public health threat in early February. It means that we're uh, able to institute any kind of countermeasures. One of the reasons he made that call at the time was in part due to a flu pandemic drill his department conducted the year before. Much of what was practiced is now being performed in real time, from shutting down schools early to distributing medical equipment. We know how to do that. We know how to get uh, one, 1 1.5 million masks to all the hospitals and we can do it in a day. And it's because we practice doing those sorts of things. It's those on the front lines that Dr. Oliver really wants to make sure are getting everything they need, including showing appreciation for all their efforts. This is an opportunity for me to say thank you to all of those folks because uh, without them, we really wouldn't be able to mount the kind of um, response that we've had to this uh, pandemic. And one other note about black people contracting coronavirus at higher rates than other racial groups. Dr. Norman attributes that to the fact that blacks are more likely to have underlying health conditions such as diabetes, lung cancer and hypertension. Those illnesses increase catching COVID-19. Cheryl.